un'altra domenica di lavoro riprendiamo dove io sto scavando ciao tornati siete stati in Ticino? sono andata su a perché il letto in fondo ah. ho fatto il buco wow, vado più profondo ma ho fatto un buco per il morto Faccio il mio... Sì, sì, sembra. Sì. L'ultimo riposo. Però fai come gli egiziani e metti in piedi. Gli indiani. Oh, ma sarebbe un buco più profondo, no? Profondo. Due metri. Due metri. To summarize the last weekend, now it was me cleaning off the sand plaster. And I carried down buckets of sand and dust. I was repeating the cleaning like this maybe twice from top downwards and it was of course still dusty in the end the sand is going to be reused for the final cement floor here next door the first layer was already laid out by Doriano and his workers when I arrived Friday afternoon And I was really surprised that the new floor that I was waiting for for so long, almost a year, was already there. At the same time, there was a forest fire going on here on the left. The helicopter tries to extinguish the fire. Like last year, there was not a drop of rain since New Year. The last wheelbarrow of sand is brought by Andrea. almost there again. Of course, in the morning, I had to celebrate this marvelous beginning, let's say, of my new floor and giving it a stage. also been laid out there. The new toilet will be installed in the back on the right side. You can see those new wall breakthroughs. Here the one to the back towards the rock behind the house. This is going to lead to a little storage space that we are building here and we are also erecting a solid waterproof wall just in front of the rock. Because of course a lot of water can come down here and finally we have to direct all this water to the front of the house. Above this storage space I planned the new bathroom for the first floor. Another Saturday of work, Marina and myself are cleaning this narrow space on the west side of the house because there were still some small parts of rock that are disturbing. We need to achieve a constant slope to lay the new drain lines of the gutter.
and we must also be able to lay out a foil which keeps the water from entering the house. Marina is, I believe, at the end of his third week of jackhammering. And I am bringing out all the loose material that he is producing. I had to change my clothes constantly because in the sun it was kind of hot and in the shade there was a nasty breeze and I felt this is not going to end well. You can hear it and I ended up in bed. The next morning it took me hours just to lift my head 10 centimeters from the pillow.